on site this morning. Uh, today's job is to pull out three toilets and put in three new toilets. I came out towards the end of last week and had a check of the measurements, found out what the customer wanted, gave her a price. The price is good. She said yes straight away. So I'm back today to, to do the job. One of the critical things you need to check when you're a, like a homeowner and you want to change over your toilets is that not all toilets fit all plumbing setouts. So you really want someone like myself to come out, check them, make sure the measurements are going to work, it's going to suit the toilet you want to install, and then get them to put the toilet in for you. Let's go inside and have a look. Okay, so I'm upstairs. We're going to take a look at the three toilets. This is number one. Old exposed trap style toilet. And toilet number three. Going to turn the water off first and then come back inside. So the water's all turned off. Put any excess out of the line. What I like to do then is get a wet back and just suck out the base of the pan. Now we're going to do that to all three, to the other two toilets. So water's turned off, pans are drained. Next step is to pull out the toilets. So we do one and then you have to go the process. Systems off the wall. So get the paint scrapers underneath and just work your way around. I have a thicker one and a thinner one. Back to our water point. We've got to get that collar out too. Always cover the waste pipe. You do not want to drop anything down there. Thank you. 
So what I did, I, I bent that back and then just cut a little bit off that to tidy it up. I'm gonna use a loose nut mini system. See how it's a loose nut? The rubber in there, the surface is nice and clean. Don't need any tape or anything. Screw them straight on. I reckon. Best that way should be okay. The next job, remove this collar out of, out of here. Jam a rag down here. Don't want to lose anything down the sewer pipe. Quite a few different ways people will remove this. So what I'm gonna do is get out this lip now of the existing fitting that's sitting in there. I like to slice it on a needle and then see if I can Start to pry it off. Okay, let's pull out my rag. she comes. So that heat gun helps to soften the glue so I can get that out a bit easier. Like I said there are many other ways to do it that's just one one of my ways. Give that a bit of a clean, pull, pull out your rag, remember pull out the rag and all done. Okay, so we're back. Uh, all three toilets have been prepped with isolation tap all cleaned out here. 
and cleaned up the surface here. So let's look at it installing the first one. Get some glue. And then the claws. We got the rubber. Put a generous amount of glue on the rubbers. Okay. Just going to sit it pretty close to where it needs to be. I'm going to check my measurement that I need and see which way I will get this. So I could, there's like it sitting pretty good there. And I just want to mark my cut, which is right here. How I know that? It's because you get the measurement from here, because this sits on the back of the wall to here and then add on the difference. Pull that out. See, so don't forget which way you marked it. Get your clear primer and glue. Clean it up. Always use cleaner first. I mean sides, I'm always gonna use clear over blue and red. You can spill it and it doesn't make a mess. Side. Line up once marks. And give it a twist. Pop off the cover, the collar on me. And I'll be back. So that's been cut. And I'll put my collar back on. Get a bit more glue, put it around the outside. This will help the ring go on. Okay, make sure we've got enough lube on here. From here we just push this in gently. I should just check something. You might trim this one up a little bit because that's pretty close to a bend. You might not be able to see just in there. So I'll sit that there. Level on here. That's my measurement is all good. Pretty good. Okay. One, two, sixty, one eighty. Yeah, um, tool is correct, the distance is correct, the height is pretty good. I then put a little bit of silicon around here just to seal up this. Even that's got the rubber seal down the bottom, I prefer a little bit here. Some more about loop, never this color. Always check that these are firm because sometimes they come from the manufacturer manufacturer and they're not. That one's good. Good. 
good. Good. You don't do these up super tight. You just don't set the they bite on. Next thing I do is remove inlet valve. Put that to the side. Unhook my outlet. Bring up the blue to the right. Put that to the side. Get my little shifter. See these in the car. And this one too. That one feels good. Okay. So that comes with this cone shape rubber. Give it a clean up. There's um under here. So you can see there's two little holes here. Screw them down. See how they come with the rubber to for sealing between the pan and the cistern. The cistern and the pan. Uh. Okay, I'll have to show you when this is done. So this is all screwed down. You can see how nice and close that surface is. You don't want to over tighten these okay where those nuts are and end up cracking the system so all that now is back together okay so toilet, toilet's in place everything's connected we'll turn the water on and then we'll then i'll put in the seat Push them in here. Other one here. Line up on the two pins. Not four six, it's a soft close seat, so they just close naturally. Screw down the fixing screws. I like to flush half a dozen to a dozen times. Test for leaks. use a screw gun to tighten these up but I put it on hand with manually just don't like the idea of screw guns and China. Okay. Pop that off. Here are a couple plates. This is the Fianza Chica toilet suite. Water connection all silicon down. So have All good, thank you.